Hey, welcome back, y'all. It's Joe Sissy with another Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And last time, we... Well, <laughs> we're still in the grasslands. But, uh... Well, we were able to go back to Calm because Shinra have finished their search. Couldn't find us. I mean, we're way too slippery for those idiots, so... Able to go back there. Gotten a couple matches. A couple Queen's Blood matches. Uh, got some cards, got some new side quests to do, and uh, now we're, we're, we went out the western exit of Calm, and on our way on the highway, and it, as you can tell, compared to the east and the west side of the grasslands, is very different looking, very different looking, but uh, now we're heading, heading on uh, in this direction, which I believe, check my map last time, is where Chloe, the girl at the Chocobo Ranch, asked us to pick some flowers for her. And uh, now we're going to do that. And what is... What is all this? Like some... Makeshift raceway or something? I don't... Let's see... Yeah, it's that way, yeah. Alright. Hey! What are you doing up there? You gotta stop to show me? Much of the Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well shit ain't about to spend a single kill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. Hey, I'm with Aerith. After last game, being stuck in Midgar. Not that I didn't enjoy the game immensely, but it's nice to be out in the world. Because out here, we have little chocobos. Yeah. Alright. But, uh, let's head back the way we came there. Something I forgot to talk about a couple <clears throat> a couple episodes back, they mentioned someone did that well, was probably Red Thirteen that the Republic is out of June on. Actually, no, it was Chadley who who uh, clarified that it was. Junon that used to have the Republic. I don't know, I guess I, I don't know if they still are. I don't think so because Junon's under Shinra jurisdiction now. I thought I could go the other side. Oh, there's probably nothing on, on the other side of this building, but I just I can't help myself. I gotta gotta check. Yep, see nothing. Nothing, and I knew there'd be nothing. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's one of those things that I think has just gotten expanded upon, or will be expanded upon, in the remake series. And, oh, hey, another one. Well, you can't say there's not enough Chocobo rest stops. Fellas, 
Yeah, this looks like a defunct pipeline up here. Can't imagine flowers growing anywhere around here, but I guess it might be, it might be on the other side of that, uh, past this sort of sunken valley and on the other side of that ridge. I tried fiddling with the camera and moving it back, moving the distance from it back, but, and it is, it's a little farther, but it's not a whole lot. <laughs> I think it only goes up to setting a three maximum. All right, oh yeah. You telling me she comes all the way out here by herself? Oh! Mandragoras! Oh, gather up. Wait, no, I need two, that's right. Uh, am I paralyzed? Oh. You jerk. There we go. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. Good thing you've got me here. That's always Cloud's so face. Reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house. He's picked flowers using the illustrated as illustration as a guide. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. She gave us a little illustration of her flower crown. We're gonna pick some like that. Okay, so we need some yellow and some red and some white flowers, it looks like. No blues. Hmm. So cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. The yellow calendulas. Oops. Oh yes. Do pick those. gonna need more well um I don't see any white ones around here there's some red ones oh there's some white ones over there oh now these are vibrant so you like deep passionate reds do you the red Gerbera Hey, it's not my flower crown. A few more couldn't hurt. And here are the white ones. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, there's some. Oh, that must be the ones I'm supposed to pick at. Diva, don't just stand there. Pick some flowers for me. Wow, these smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. Oh, ah, yes. That should probably. 
probably be enough. Let's go give them to Chloe. I can smell how fragrant they are. Oh, man, that reminds me. I just saw the other day on Twitter. Apparently there's some device, and I forget the technical name for it, but there's some device that is compatible with some video games that it emits odors. And depending on like what you're playing in the game, it'll emit a certain odor that'll fit with what you're seeing on screen. Like if you're in a forest, it'll, you know, it'll be some kind of piney smell or like grass if you're on a hill. And it looked incredible, like an incredibly stupid invention, but I will admit I still wanted to try it out. <laughs> Oh man, I yeah, that's just what pick up what'll people think of. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look more into the how that device works. I wonder if there's because there's specific scents, but I wonder if you have to program them in yourself, or... If it's got... Like, I think I read it, it has certain games that it's compatible with, so... It might... You know, with those games, it might have a, you know, like a... a preloaded... You know, set of different types of fragrance. Well, if we were here, we'd be... If that if we had the, the device right here in front of us, all I'd be smelling is dirt, concrete, and rusted metal. Other side of that wall is, I'm guessing, that's Midgar up there. Alright. Let's uh, call our, our handy bird companion. I'm gonna make this go a little bit quicker. Speaking of scent. Okay. I was wondering what those different buttons are scour. Eh. I guess there's certain spots and collectibles on the map that you can scour for. Oh, yeah, here we go. Treasure hunting with chocobos. When the question mark icon appears above your chocobo, buried treasures nearby and waiting to be sniffed out by your feathered friend. Controls hold. Up to sniff the air, use right stick to face the scent. Once you face in the direction of the scent, it will become visible. Follow the scent and press down on the D-pad to excavate the treasure. Okay, alright. How do I... Ah! There it is. If I had my smellometer, I would have been able to sniff that out myself. I don't I can't remember what it's actually called, but I wonder if that was the first thing I could Chocobo could sniff out and scour or for or if that tutorial tooth clip popped up just because I used it for the first time. Cause I'm guessing the latter. I was ready to hold it. Scanning. Scanning. 
Scent detected. Get it right on the glowing light there. Expert excavator. Isn't that just clever? Um, oh, there's a tower just right there. And more guards. Come on. There you go. Yeah, keep hitting me. Man, Red 13 is fun to use. I might stick with him for a while. I didn't expect him to have a, a, a defensive stance. I thought he would be just all aggressive all the time, but it fits with his character. He's, you know, even though he looks and he can act like a ferocious predator he is also extremely wise and patient so yeah it, it, it kind of makes sense that he would he would he would wait assess uh, the situation analyze an enemy and then strike with extreme ferocity That's gotta be most of the towers in the grassland. Oh! Must be a spring nearby. Alright, you can't just... I mean, you, you just can't just fly through the solid steel and concrete. Otherwise, it's easy for me to lose you. I bet that Merc checking out the pipelines around here, too. I suppose the loot from the springs doesn't respawn because they didn't with those last two I visited. New intel added. I'll have to read that on my own time. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's just right up there. Um. Yeah, okay. Jump down. Come on, there you go. I was gonna say, jump down there. Your super soldier man. Can make that. Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. Is that Cloud? 
But I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. The man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is... Uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for him together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you. I swear I'll do anything. Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so these are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there is the bare minimum. So, any questions? Where are the parts? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Nope, let's do this. You were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for screws and bolts. Oh, yeah, sounds like you got your hands full. I'll admit, of all the mercs I had in mind that we met in Midgar, she wasn't the one I was expecting to turn up for this quest. Uh, no. Or maybe I have. No, I haven't. I haven't... I have met anything like that. Uh... Hold on to them for now? Okay. Yeah. I believe in you, fellow Merc. Okay, where can I find these parts? Oh, it looks like they're... Pretty close by in the surrounding area. Uh, nothing like nothing like patching up leaking Mako pipelines with rusted sheet metal but I guess whatever's on hand corroded nails wow we couldn't find any stripped ones while we're at it looks like we better get as many supplies as we can This must be theme Kyrie's theme song playing, which I didn't even know she had a theme song. If she had one, if she had one in the last game, I'm I'm totally forgot. Okay, anywhere else? Okay, that's back where she is. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's all the spots showing up on my map, at least. Yes! Looks like I got everything. Holy mother of scrap metal! Here you go, guys! When we're finished, that pipe will be good as new! I bet 
we can even charge extra? <laughs> now then, follow me, would you? Let's not keep my money, I mean, the pie, waiting. Before that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn the music down just a bit here. Yeah, go to eight. I just want to make sure, <coughs> totally, it, it wasn't, uh... Grandma didn't send you out here to find me, did she? Because if she did, I'm not going back. I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid, never letting me join her on a job. So I packed up and hit the road. Now I'm out here making my fortune. I can't wait to rub my success in her smug face. Yes, all you need for every job is for more experienced mercenaries to come Go along and do it for you. She was like a freelance journalist, but now she's out here making her way as a merc, huh? Hmm. She's off to a great start. Well, here we are. And you're sure that you can fix this? Huh. You shouldn't underestimate an undercity girl. I can spin garbage into gold and will. Ah, company! Stay back. <laughs> now, how did we miss this? <laughs> Alright, I guess the, uh... I guess the Sentinel stance doesn't really work for, uh, magic attacks, or poisonous spores. That's all right. That was a tough bastard. Mako probably mutated him. Look at Mr. Know-It-All. <laughs> okay, that ought to do it. Mission accomplished. And my reward is secure. <laughs> so let's go and grab a drink. Celebrate the birth of our great mercenary union. Forget our deal already? <laughs> Come on, fellow Merc. With my brains and your brawn, we can clean up. You're not your fellow anything. Stop being such a tight ass. The point is, I can help you. I can talk you up. Please, don't. Uh, huh? well, you're the only Merc in town. Guess this one's all hey, yours. Get back here! I guess we should have seen that coming. I'm not even worried about healing, I'm just trying to... Yeah, she ain't our problem now. Um, yeah, just a couple more potions. Guess I should buy some potions next time in town. I did craft some items earlier. I don't know if I mentioned that in the um, 
when I was uh, between episodes there. And got my crafting level up quite a bit. Is this song just gonna play constantly? Until I go turn this quest in? Because I'm not... Because I wanted to, you know, explore all around here, too, first, so... Maybe if I get out of the immediate area here. Or get on the Chocobo. That'll stop it. Okay, this one seems kind of easy. Just pressure, stagger, defeat him in the time limit. Uh, I'm going to play as Cloud so I can immediately use Assess, get its weaknesses, which it has none. So, <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess I'll just have to... Just keep pouring on the damage. Things are fast. Okay, alright. Cannot touch it while well, it's got that electricity surging. Trying to trying to bait an attack that I can. Alright. Come on. Sure. Steal for shits and giggles. Oh, wow. Well, okay. That was fast. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Then get the pressure. Mm. It had better be. Right, I'm gonna try this one more time. But this time. Jeez, I just cannot predict this thing's moves. Take 
take the lead. This is just keeps switching between the non-paralyzed party members. Oh, spell phones. Your materia is proved enough that a more potent spell is available. For example, in the case of the fire spell, the potency increases from fire to fire run. Finally, to the most powerful fireaga. To access more powerful spells, press left, right with the command selected. Remember that more powerful magic consumes more MP. Uh, well, I was going to just cure Tifa here, so. I did pressure this one, okay. I was <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, man, this is gonna be a clusterfuck here, but set out and finish the objective I set out to do. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, sorry, just readjusting in my seat here. Um Looks like this might be a dead end anyways. Shenra troops. Can we fight them? And now... They're on lockdown, and luckily they don't recognize us. Going the really long way to throw him off the scent. <laughs> All right, I think I need to rest at the old Chukbo stop first. Luckily, I got plenty of cushions. Except for you, you gotta use the dirt. Alright. Let's, uh. Oh, look, there's another one over there. Couple of the world intels. Divine intel? What is that? Oop, not that. R3, not L3. Set nearby. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Nope, oh, over on that. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Oh, ran it again. All right, can I still find it if it disappeared? There we go. A ruby. That actually is a good find. Uh, what is down here? Grasslands Port? this leads item master uh forget what that actually does increases the effectiveness of items in battle oh yeah that's right yeah. pretty neat little materia um I wouldn't say it's a must-have, and but it's you know it's it's nice to have. Plus, it although it's you know kind of useless in hard mode, or at least it was a remake. I'm guessing hard mode in this game will be similar in that you can't use items. But uh, I'm kind of curious on where that goes. If I had to guess, I'd say to Midgar. I don't know. We may never know. <clears throat> okay, how do we get up there? Oh, it was almost right on it. An yeah, emerald this time. Okay. If we could find a chocobo that could reliably find us gemstones, we'd be swimming in the gill. Oh, hey, it's one of those glowing blocks. I guess any time you have to step up and down on uneven terrain, he takes out the little device and he puts it back and he takes it out again. The benefits of this place won't really do me much good since, like I said earlier in the episode, I, I've already beaten Titan. But I'll go ahead and analyze Crystal. Just for completionist's sake, if nothing else. Square, square, square. square. Is that too fast? Oh, no, that was just right. There you go. That's right, it also gives you 
party experience and increases the effectiveness of your summon materia, so. Even if you already beaten said summon, still some benefits. But, uh... Okay, already been there. Looks like that might be... Our next stop. Come on, Cloud. Hmm. Looks like my have to call the choke bow. There he goes. Just had to spin around the camera enough times. Oh, can even he not jump down there? There we go. All right. We can actually jump on the pipeline. Oh, uh, hey, there we go. So, probably can't get past those huge coupling joints, but. Rode the pipe up at least for a little while. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Forgot to mute my phone. And apparently our chocobo companions cannot destroy the crates. You think they could peck them with their sharp beaks, but no, alas, they cannot. And avoiding being turned into a frog. Dexter virtual status effects. Toad. You've been turned into a toad, greatly reducing your combat cap capabilities. In this state, you can only use standard attacks, the HP restoring triangle rubble breath, and the leapfrog ability. To remove the status effect, either use the Asuna spell or items such as Maiden's Kiss or Remedies. I don't even know if I have Asuna. Or Rem or Maiden's Kisses or Remedies. I think I might have Remedies. Okay. 
That's enough of that. And we're... well, not all frogs. Most of us frogs, though. Yeah, take that, bitch. Looks like we won't get that pressure again. Uh, do I have to? Well, no, I don't have to, but I will. One of these times I might be able to get all three objectives in the first go. But uh, for now, since... Red is hurting so much, and so is Tifa actually, so let's switch both of them out. Uh, Cloud's still okay. Wow, I couldn't even read that. So, don't know their weaknesses. Sure, maybe Shiva will put some pressure on. I saw a baby chocobo around there. Yep. Lead the way, pal. I need some healing up.
Not sure what enemies I was getting close to. I didn't see anything. Yes. Even though I'm on the brink of death, that's uh, no excuse for not getting the pets and the baby chocobos. Okay. Fully restored is good but uh yeah i think i'm gonna call it with this one and in the next one finish off the last of the last of the points of interest in the world intel on this side of the grasslands and then after that i think there's some other stuff on the eastern side i go back to and and then eventually pretty soon start making our way down south and cross that swamp and hopefully avoid the giant Midgard Somer. But until then, thanks for joining me and I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all take care.